Kerala court has ordered a pro further probe into the Palmolin import scam. The prosecution had sought a further probe into the 1991 Kerala scam in which uh, former CVC PJ Thomas is an accused. Uh, let's go across to Pradeep Pillai joining us on the phone line. Pradeep, uh, more trouble coming towards uh, PJ Thomas and even the former chief minister Umman Chandi. Exactly, Niranjan. See, the prosecution had requested the court that uh, uh, it may allow further probe in the Pamulan case in the light of some additional proof and additional material and information that it had gathered over the uh, last uh, few months. Now, this whole thing was sparked off when T.H. Mustafa, the second accused in the existing charge sheet, who was the Food and Civil Supplies Minister when the import took place in 1991, he had filed a discharge petition in, the, in front of the court in which he had pointed out that Uman Chandi, who was finance minister then when the import took place, was also in the know of things. And he was not implicated, nor was he charge sheeted, nor was he included in the charge sheet as an accused. Now, since this was done correctly, so he requested that the same logic may apply to him, that he was only party to a collective decision of the cabinet, and hence it is not fair to implicate just one individual in the case. Now the prosecution, obviously driven by the uh, CPM-led uh, government here, uh, pounced on this opportunity, and it pointed out that this means that Uman Chandi was also involved. Uman Chandi's involvement should be probed, and such a petition was filed in front of the court. The court, however, also clarified to, to make things very clear. The court clarified that it does not mean that it is uh, casting any aspersions on any individual who is not right. there in the charge sheet. The court said that it is only a formality. If the investigating agency requests a further, further probe, naturally, prima facie, it should be allowed. Niranjan. Right. Many thanks, uh, Pradeep, for joining us uh, with those uh, details of uh, former CVC PJ Thomas in more trouble.